I was telling you decision tree calculation should be done and we will be doing it in our next class, right? So decision tree calculation. So information gain. Ultimately, here we would be calculating about the information gain part. For suppose, let us consider a small data. Here, I consider I do have nine humans out of them i have five female and four male this is my original data and this is the classification part of the original data also all of you please listen this particular calculation is very important this one is considered as the parent node These are the child nodes. How do you calculate them? So the basic thing for this decision tree calculation is the information gain. This is something which we would be calculating. And decision tree in other way it is called as cart model. What is this cart model? Cart is basically classification and A for and regression T for tree. That means you can perform both classifications as well as regressions in it. For example, so when coming to the information gain in the SCART models, how do we calculate? Here, you are having two child classes. We call them as Q1 and Q2. Minus minus q1 by q1 plus q2 log q1 by q1 plus q2 to the base 2 minus q2 by q1 plus q2 log q2 by Q1 plus Q2 to the base 2. This is the formula. When coming to the information gain part. So, let us substitute the values. So, minus Q1 in the sense minus 5. Minus 5 by 5 plus 4 is 9. nine. Log 5 by five. 9 to the base 2. minus 4 by 9 log 4 by 9 to the base 2 can be written in this way also. Now, ultimately, what is the final value? So, here log 5 by 9 to the base 2, you get value and log 4 by 9 to the base 2, you get the value. When you simplify all these things, the final value which you get is 0 0.9911. This is the parent nodes. Information gain. Okay. If suppose you have only this value, you would be calculating it like this. But this is the whole data. Here, we won't consider these as the child nodes. 
for your understanding initially i told that this is the child note but we won't consider that particular thing as the child notes so what how it will be classified basically the classification have been done and you got the values for suppose let us assume so so let me say you have nine humans out of them five female and four male this complete thing let me consider as the parent node and when you classify this i have three female and three male and two female and one male this is these two are my child notes after doing the classification okay now we have done for the first part for the parent node information gain has been done now how do i do for the child nodes i have two child nodes one is the first child node is three female three male this is one part isn't it another part is two female one male this is the another part for this two also i have to calculate the information gain information gain in the sense here i have minus 3 by 6 log 3 by 6 to the base 2 Minus three by six, log three by six to the base two. This is one, and when coming here, minus two by three, log two by three to the base two. Minus one by three, log one by three to the base two. Here. it will be 0.9183 as i know the values i am not calculating it over here if suppose you want this logarithmic value you can just go and search in the google part google for the thing here you got the child notes information gain that means suppose again let us go little up let me say this is yes classification and this is no classification no samples were left this is the only one level of classification you have you are doing for this so here you have for both the things for both yes and for no classification now i have the accuracy values for both parent node separately and child node separately here child node s is having 100% accuracy child node s has 100% accuracy whereas no has 91.83% accuracy whereas the parent node has 99.11% accuracy that means they are this much accurate but original parent node is 99.11% accuracy but when coming to the child nodes you have one is 100% and one is 91.8% 91.8% in the sense approximately 8.2% flaw was there no 8.2% error unnatte kada yes ma'am so how do you improve the accuracy when coming to this classification is something in the accuracy format you do but decision tree is something which we are saying that you have both classification as well as regression antonym regression is something you have to minimize the error how do you minimize the error for that we have to calculate total gain a single calculation where in which 
you will be calculating both accuracy as well as you minimize the error also error part also how much minimizations you can do also that one also can be done in the same entropy calculation so total gain an another name for the information gain is also called as entropy entropy or information gain we call but here total gain total gain is basically denoted with s that means overall data's error is something which we will be calculating over here. The formula is entropy of parent node minus summation of all child sets. Here, all child sets in the sense you have yes and no. Entropy of parent node is something over here I consider as 0 0.9911 minus summation of all child nodes. Summation of all child nodes in the sense you have this is equal to 6 values. 6 by total number of observations is 9 because the parent node is having 9 values in it. No? Overall. So I consider 6 by 9. into entropy of yes child set plus the second one is 3 by 9 into entropy of no child set that means 0 0.9911 minus 6 by 9 into entropy of S. This is 1 plus 3 by 9 into entropy of no, 0 0.9183. So here to simplify this 0 0.9911 minus 6 by 9 plus 6 by 9 into 1 is 6 by 9 only. So, 3 into 0 0.9183, it's a multiplication. We won't do the LCM. For another batch, when I'm saying that, when we have to do this particular calculation, what they were doing is, they say that we have to take the LCM. For additions, we will be taking the LCM and subtractions, but not for multiplications. So, we can do the direct multiplication. So, 3 into 0 0.9183. It's... 2.75 by 9. So ultimately, 0 0.919911 minus 8.75 by 9. 8.75 by 9 would be 8.75 divided by 9 would be 0. 0 0.9722. What will be the value? 0 0.01. That means initially, when you are doing the parent node, 99% accuracy in the sense, suppose I say 1 minus 0 0.9911 will be 0. 080089, but 99% accuracy, 99.1% accuracy in the sense 100 minus 99.11. How much it would be there? What is the value? 100 minus 0 0.99. That means 0 0.19. 0 0.89. Here, initially, when you are taking the original data, you have 0 0.89 error. But finally, when we are doing as per the total gain, the error got minimized, right? So, 
decision tree i am telling it as cart that means classification and regression tree like regression it minimized the error also that is the beauty of decision tree so this is the calculation part for decision tree this calculation which we are doing for decision tree is the same for bagging and boosting algorithms also but the approach of bagging and boosting algorithms is little different when compared to the decision tree we will talk about that bagging and boosting algorithms also but first you should know about generally in any of the other algorithms like kn and regression linear discriminant analysis logistic regression decision trees how they work at the back end of the code that means when you are implementing all these algorithms in the code part they do behave little hybrid model how do they actually behave is also something which we would be learning now but before that i want you to please make a note of all this calculation the algorithms at the back end of the code how i got the calculation and no worries so when coming to this particular part all the algorithms at the back end of the code they do work in a hybrid approach how do they work so you consider the data for suppose i have 100 records with me what they do is rather than they reading each and every data what they do is they split the data into 10 equal halves divided by 10 whatever sample size you have it is divided by 10, 10. so divided by 10 in the sense you will be having 10 10 10 10 10 records in each and every partition that means rather than a single person working on all the 100 records what they were doing they are making 10 different samples so that 10 different people can work on that at a time so that the work in the working approach we can work on the data very easily and when they are selecting also all this 10 parts randomly they choose 10 10 10 10, 10 records in each and every partition that means for suppose 1 to 100 records were there let me tell you for example 1 8 15 21 38 94 27 39 this is my first partition random values when coming to the second partition 2 16 39 39 got repeated if you see 68 79 the 55 54 92 99 100 there is an every chance for one or two records to get repeated because the sampling inside this particular partitions the 10 partitions are taken randomly again if another partition is considered 16 21 8 11 14 93 88 85 70 60 here how many got repeated 16 got repeated 21 got repeated 8 also Eight got repeated. So, in case we won't control that particular thing, what happens is there is an every possibility there would be some good amount of repetitions. To overcome good amount of repetitions, 
we consider it as seed 7. That means 70% of the data from partition to partition should be unique. That means 70% data should not be repeated. 30% data, okay, you can. If suppose I say 80% of the data should be unique. So the basic cut is 70 to 80% is generally we, we consider. So after you ca calculating this particular thing, after dividing the data into multiple different parts, the approach, the approach of dividing the data into multiple different parts and calculating is called as cross validation process. So, this is one of the resampling technique. There are four different resampling techniques. This is one such. So, divide the whole data into 10 equal halves. Perform the algorithm on that each part. Note the accuracy. I am just noting the accuracies for each and every partition after you performing the algorithm. Take the average of all these accuracies that will be that particular data's average. So consider the data, divide the data into 10 equal halves. Perform the algorithm on each and every partition. Note their accuracies. Consider overall 10 partitions average accuracy and that will be the final accuracy for that particular algorithm. Suppose if I wanted to do KNN, KNN will be done separately on 10 partitions and note the accuracy. They won't consider the whole data at a particular single shot. So this is one of the resampling technique. So the main process is it cross validates for each and every partition. This is cross validation process. The next one which you have is leave one out cross validation. Leave one out cross validation. That means you take 100 as your data. No? So in this what they do is actually divided by 10 is the sample size. So but here. 10 should be the sample size, but it take an only 9 only. One value will be removed in each and every partition. So that on this 9 values, the cross-validation process will be done the same. What we do, we calculate, we calculate the accuracies after implementing the algorithms. And finally, you take the average accuracy. But when compared to cross-validation process, Leave one out cross validation process is not used that much. So why they won't use it that much is the simple logic over here is suppose you are taking 10 values in each and every partition. The overall data is 100. So 10, 10 values in 10 partitions in the sense all the 100 values might be considered some or the other way even though you are considering the random samples. In any one of the partition all the values might be considered. But here, one value you are leaving. That means in overall, if suppose each and every partition one value is removed, 10 values got removed, 10 values might be because of the repetitions, maybe some sort of 1 to 10 percent data is left behind. That is the reason we won't consider this. Because 10 values we are leaving and doing the algorithm. Next one, another process which we have is shuffle split method and train test split method. So first one is train test split method. This is also another method of resampling technique. Here you are considering 100 data. No, In that 70% for the training part, 30% for the 
testing part it divide the data like this initially then it performs cross validation process 77777 in each and every partition and then perform cross validation process this 30 values which were left will be tested with this particular model in the testing part and shuffle split method also like that only shuffle split method shuffle split method when coming to the shuffle split method here also you have ultimately you are considering the train test model no 70 30 ratio with 30 it will be checked with 70 each and every partition seven values will be considered but inside after doing in between what did we have to do this process n number of times minimum three repetition times we have to do in that meanwhile the data internally will be shuffled like a ipod playlist and it will be calculated again and again so this is the shuffle split method shuffle split method train test split method leave one out cross validation and cross validation these four are the resampling techniques which with which we implement the algorithm at the back end of the code clear this is the thing so these algorithms when coming to the decision tree also they implement like this only but when coming into the bagging and boosting algorithms they work in a different approach bagging and boosting algorithms 